Hello everyone, my name is Peep Peep, and welcome back to Act Flirt Part 5. Now, we left off where, uh, you know, obviously, Undyne's house is on fire. Isn't that lovely? Oh, you seem to have found what looks to be a life-size anime figurine. Its pose should allow it to stand up straight, and yet it does anyway. Poke it? Yes. You poke the figurine. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Just cause you're bored you think you can just come over here and poke me? Have yes, Have some decency! Just for that, I'm not going to let you go anywhere. <sighs> mew 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 to his- Oh. Hey! Who are you calling her? Jeez, a guy who puts on a dress and now suddenly he's a woman? A nerve of some people. Oh my. You Mew toys with his hair. Hmm. Nice day. You tell Mew Mew that you think today's a nice day. Uh, yeah. Sure, pal. Let's go with that. He isn't much for conversation. You lose 3 HP. Let's flirt. You flirted with Mew Mew. What are you doing? It seems he isn't interested. You lose 3 HP. Mmm, strawberry shortcake. You gave a slice of strawberry, sh strawberry cake to Mew Mew. Cake? Um, give me that. Mew Mew took the cake and immediately ate it. Tell no one. Oh, I guess Mew Mew liked it. He gained 10 LP. Hmm. Can we flirt now? You flirted with Mew Mew. Okay. No. Nope. Okay, well. Hmm, maybe we can try to talk. No. Let's just keep giving him stuff. You decided to pick through some of the items sitting around Undyne's burning house. Some of them are ch are charred, but hey, it's the thought that counts. Hey, what are you doing? You wouldn't happen to be going through stuff that isn't yours, would you? Because that would be a crime, you know? This would probably be a really bad idea. You lose 3 HP. Ooh, I don't know. Let's just wait. You decided to wait for me to say something. Oh, so now you finally quiet yourself so I can talk. Anyway, so you were hanging out with Undyne earlier, right? No need to lie. I've been standing here the whole time. What's your goal, huh? If you're trying to get with Undyne, it won't happen! Uh, I want to hang out. You tell Mew Mew that you just wanted to hang out with her. Oh, please, you asked her on a date. What's your concept of hanging out? You can't lie to me so easily, human. Yet surprisingly, Mew Mew seems to trust you more. He gained 5 FP. Hmm. Let's wait. Shout out to wait for Mew Mew to say something. I'd like you to know that I've been Undyne's training dummy for years now. We're the closest, like no other dummy and fish lady combo. And now with this form, I can... Uh... Be an even, be even better training dummy. Yeah! Your relationship with Undyne will never hold a can candle to mine, unless you two want to get beat up by her. On unless you two want to get beat up by her on a constant basis. Absolutely. You tell Mew Mew that you'd let Undyne beat you up any day. <laughs> yep, I feel that. Ah, oh, don't don't preen yourself. You're still nothing compared to me. Right? Ouch. Can my animals stop freaking fighting? Seriously, it's getting on my nerves right now. Get your head under there. All right, let's store that. Tell Mew Mew that he looks fantastic in his dress. You lose 10 SP. Hehe, <laughs> you think so? I thought so too. This whole body just screams me. Hmm, I'll try to flirt again. Hey, I was talking, thanks for interrupting me. Whoops, uh, you lose your HP. Well, that's not very cool. I guess I'll have to keep waiting. Don't look at me like that. You act like I don't know that she has relationships with other people besides me. I, I'm very aware. And you know what? It doesn't matter. Because, do you know what I'll do to them? Respect them? You str you suggest that Mew Mew would respect them. Absolutely! I want nothing but the best for Undyne. Her happiness is my number one priority, Mew. Mew? Uh, let's ignore that. Mew Mew is glad you agree with him. He gained 5 FP. 
You, okay. You know, you're really not that talkative. But that's good. That's a good thing. It means I can talk more about things I want to talk about. Such as, uh... Actually, you know what? It's really annoying. And how I haven't fused with this body yet. All this anger. All this passion. And yet I'm still not fused with it. Be more angry. You tell Mimi that he should be even more angry. Yes, yes, you're right. I've got to just be extremely angry. More angry than anyone has ever been. <laughs> We've been laughing, aren't I happy? This may be a problem. Oh no, wrong thing to say. Okay, let's wait again. You're a human, right, aren't you? And this body looks kinda like a human, so it's probably originally from the junkyard where so much human garbage falls. You know, before I found it in it in a uh, sciencey place. So, uh, why am I in the world? Do you humans like a life-size doll? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I appreciate it, but, uh, what use do humans have for something like this? Oh boy. You can't bring yourself to answer. Just because you're quiet doesn't mean you can be quiet when I ask you a question. What, now you're ignoring me? I had a feeling that would happen, of course. I'm really bad at this. What the heck? Oh my goodness. Well, that sucks. Hey, uh, that date you went on with Undyne. I, uh, how did it go? You know, because... It didn't go so well. Tell me, Mimi, that the day didn't go as well as you hoped. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> I mean, oh no, how unfortunate. Boo-hoo, human. Mew Mew is somehow ecstatic. He gained 5 FP. You're probably wondering why I'm still bothering to talk to you, right? I couldn't care less about you. My heart belongs to Undyne. But you know what? You've been on a date with her and I haven't. So tell me, how do you have a uh, successful date? Mm, communication? You tell me that like, communication is key. Communication? Could you elaborate? Because I think every, um, we communicate very often and it has not much of anything. Why is everything I choose wrong? I'm so aggravated right now. Ah, another thing. You better tell me if anything else is, inter is interested in Undyne. I have to scoop out the rest of my um, Alphys. Tell me that Alphys probably likes Undyne. Who? Ah, well, it doesn't matter. Fine, then. If Undyne chooses this Alphys over me, then I'll just go back to my... Old friends. Alright, oh, I don't have any of those anymore. That's fine. I have knives. Oh yeah. I don't have any of those anymore either. Well, at least Mew is thankful for the information. He gained 5 FP. Decided to wait for me to say something. Actually, you know what I haven't talked to you about yet? How you flirted with my cousin too. Yeah, that's right. I know. Did you think I wouldn't? Ha 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 ha. Uh, what was her name again? Shouldn't she know these things? Napsabluk. You remind me that their cousin's name is Napsabluk. Oh yeah, that was it. Uh, to think I have to ask someone else about this. Don't you think I'm bringing it up again? Or take the flavor with a light heart? Cause, you have to answer me, figure out sooner or later. Okay, good. He didn't get mad at me. Mew Mew would have not figured out later. He gained 5 FP. <laughs> That's hilarious. I just feel like I'm gonna choose everything wrong again. You're really boring, you know that? Your response is so bland. All you seem to, to be good is for listening to me, I guess. Whatever, I'll take whatever attention I can get. Ha <laughs> ha! Laugh. You say, you laugh alongside Mew Mew. Ha ha ha, you are ridiculous. You even take my clearly wrapped lie as a joke. It's almost kind of eerie. Nevertheless, Mew Mew even enjoy <laughs> enjoyed your reaction. He gained 5 FP. Mew Mew is very heartbroken. Oh. You know, human, we've come pretty close during our time together here. We've had a long discussion, and by that I mean I've been talking to you nonstop for the past hour, however minutes. It's been fun, Mew. But what do you think of it, human? You've been pretty insufferable and obnoxious. I like you a lot. You tell Mew Mew that you really like him. Mew Mew is a loss for words. His FP is maxed out. Alright, so maybe you're kind, kind of more than tolerable. Now we can flirt? Huh? Huh? What are you saying? Such admirable statements. Do it again, Mew. It seems Mew Mew really appreciates your flirting. He gained two FP. Not FP, whatever it was, LP. Let's flirt again. 
Aha, you're unbelievable, you know that? I knew this body was a perfect um, choice for me. Keep going, I want to hear more compliments. Yumi is really getting aggressive about attention. He came for LP. Alright, let's keep flirting then. And keep flirting with Mew Mew. Haha, <laughs> you silly sly, you, you sly dog. I could sit here all day and listen to you tell me how great I am and how much you like me. I mean it. So keep going. You're not allowed to stop until I'm satisfied, Mew. <laughs> That's so cute. You're considering the consequences of your actions. He gained 4 LP. You continue to keep flirting. Mew Mew is satisfied. He gained 6 LP. Let's do this. Keep flirting. Okay, so let's just keep flirting. Head in the clouds. Yes, we're maxed out. You know, you're not that bad. It definitely took me a while to get used to you, though. Though, I suppose I was the one who trapped you here, huh? <laughs> oh, well. It turned it turned out great, didn't it? You just gotta promise me one thing, okay? Oh my goodness, this art is so cute! Come back every once in a while. Compliment me more. I like hearing you coming. Hearing them coming from your voice. I'll, I'll even give you the greatest honor. You... You can pet my ears if you want. Oh my goodness. But don't abuse that privilege, human. You hear me? It, uh... Look, just take this and go, alright? You got a t-shirt with an anime design on it. It was added to your items. We can use it for Alphys. Probably. Or maybe Undyne. Undyne's house can use burn. It's, it seems the fire will never end. And leaving the house in a torturing purgatory. Ooh, so scary. It's got a sock. No wonder it's crying. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Okay, now we can say, the little duck seems to want to carry you back to the previous room, but there's a bridge now, so it has no reason to. You still- okay. Oh! It's locked. There's a note posted in front of the door. Hey, I don't live here anymore. Sorry. I'm with my cousin right now. I'm trying to find my charger when my dog's in the land. It's a lot. Okay, so. Let's get out of here. What the heck is this? You approach the first digital tablet on the wall. It seems to be scrolling through text. Oh, okay, that's what it is. The existence of the barrier is still baffling to many of us. How could humans treat such a powerful shield when their magic is so incredibly weak. Even those with unbrighted, passionate souls would would still have much lower magic levels than us monsters. How do they manage it? Surprisingly though, it was actually really quite simple for them. Humans are far too determined for their own good sometimes. That alone allowed them by hundreds by the hundreds to set up the barrier. They were so determined to lock us away that some people drained their own life force to set up that barrier. Communication to the barrier has been sparse. For decades, nothing happened, and Monster Kind was forced to live in an unoverpopulated city they called home. When the first human finally fell to the underground to be cared for by the king and queen, many monsters were secretly were skeptical. Maybe that was inevitable, but there was something that felt off about that child. They weren't just filled with determination, they were filled with hatred. While it wasn't for us monsters specifically, that was much evident we could help but sometimes feel a bit threatened by the child. After all, is hatred not the opposite of passion? Chara. You approach the third digital tablet on the wall. Um, yet despite our fears, none of us monsters wanted that human to die. When they and their brother did, it was tragically it was a tragedy for all of us. Our hope was lost to fate. Our dreams were turned to dust. We grew desperate, or maybe it was just me. We tried to use determination on ourselves in order to give the powers that humans did. If humans could give themselves the ability to cast magic with our dead remains, who's to say they're morally wrong for us to do the same with their dead? You approach the fourth okay. Use, using termination on monsters does not prove the same beneficial effects that monsters dust did on humans. We're also unsure if the disease created by it can be passed down like passion can in humans. But do we really want to find out, dooming others to have the same fate? The theory that was termination would act as a secondary to the monster soul, allowing monsters to pass through the barrier without problem. 
With this theory, that would mean the opposite is also true. He means the passionate souls would be able to pass through the barrier as well. Needless to say, this experiment failed. People's lives were lost in feeble attempt to return to the surface, including mine. So, it's really interesting when you look at Chara. Like, obviously they hated Vianity, but they didn't hate Monster Kind. So that's pretty cool. Okay. It's looking- it hurts my eyes looking at them for too long. There's another flower echoing a phrase. I guess I can say something here. I barely spoken aloud here. It feels weird to hear the echo of my own voice. I'm going to miss this place. Everyone here is so nice. You can imagine someplace better. But nothing can exist in this world without corruption, can it? Not even here. Well, maybe it can. Maybe it can without me. Instead of being selfish once, maybe I can do something good instead. Or maybe this is selfish as well, since I'm finally sticking to my own choices without those voices in my head telling me what to do, each step to take. Whatever it may be, this is my final goodbye. Was that Frisk? Because there- I assumed it was Frisk at first. Um, the- you know, the voice in their head or whatever, which is the player, us, makes me kind of think of Deltarune, in a way, too. Let's get out of here. Ooh, Metaton! Super cute! I like this. <clears throat> There's a large glowing sign greeting to apparently empty team land. Additionally, there is a giant human-like figure displayed as well, intriguingly enough. Alright, let's go! Oh, there's Sans again! Cool! Hey again. You're a busy day, huh? I've got another break soon. Maybe we could hang out then. But I'll leave you alone for now. You'd better go. Before I, you know, decide to do my job for once. <laughs> I love him. What the heck? Look how cute we look! Aren't we cute? Look at outfits! Oh goodness, so cute. Okay, so that's organized now at least. So I can probably... Huh? Oh, gosh! Uh, um, hi! Uh, I'm sorry. I was in the middle of cleaning. I wasn't expecting anyone anytime soon. Um, uh, so... Welcome to the lab! The, the Hotland Lab, that is. Uh, or I guess since Metaton renamed it last week, MTT Land? Oh, um, d did I introduce myself yet? I I'm Alphys. I'm the Royal Scientist of the Underground. You're, um, a human, r right? I didn't know another human had fallen. I haven't been watching the cameras because of that. Oh gosh, I hope no one gets mad at me for this. Oh no, I I'm sorry, I'm not really acknowledging my visitor, am I? I'm a horrible host. Uh, um, uh, so, so what's up? Flirting with people. You tell Alphys you've been flirting with a lot of people. You, you what? I, oh no, what have I let loose by not watching the cameras? Um, maybe you, um, I'm sorry, there's not a whole lot here to do. I, is there any reason you came in here in the first place? Came here in the first place? You tell if this is because you're making your way through the underground. Uh, oh, so you're going to the capital? You're trying to get to the barrier, right, so you can go home? W well, if you need any help, I can totally get you there. It's actually not too far from here. Th though, um, a friend of mine recently made it much more difficult to navigate to get there. Metaton, what have you done? But d don't worry, I know how to get through it. Uh, hmm. Um, uh, actually, can I ask you for a favor first? You, you see, oh my gosh, what am I, uh, you said you've been on d dates, right? I was w wondering if you could help me with something. You see, th there's something that I want to ask you out on a date myself, but I've never been on a date before, so I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, this is probably a bit much for me to ask. I don't really know, it's just we just met. Oh my gosh, I just saw someone I'm on a date. This is a bad idea. Ask for advice. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. I'll go on a date with you on the PS2 date, however you say that word. I have no idea. You tell us that you're fine with doing the practice date. You, you will? Uh, oh, thank you so much. So, um, I don't really know how to start this. Alright, here we go. Hopefully it isn't too awkward. Alright. Nice day. You tell Alphys that you think today's a nice day. She doesn't answer your statement, so you decided to prompt 
her to continue with conversation. Uh, oh, uh, yes, um, sorry. It, um, c could we talk about something a little more easy to talk about? That really was hard for you? <laughs> no offense. Um, new show to watch. Well, if you like anime. Okay. Hobbies? Yes, I have her hobbies. Hobbies? Oh, oh, yes. Well, I really like anime, especially Mew Mew, Kissy Cutie. Do you know it? Oh, uh, okay, yeah, she's just... That was gonna go on for hours. She gained 5 FP and 10 LP. Alright, um... Mew Mew? You asked Alphys if she ever met someone in the underground named Mew Mew. No. Is this a trick? Why would there be someone in the underground named Mew Mew? There's a Mew Mew. You sure, Alpha, is that you've met someone named Mew Mew in the underground? Wait, so Mew Mew is real? No, no that can't be right. They must share a name. Uh, anime isn't real. <laughs> but Alpha's appreciated the information, I think. She gained 5 FP. Practice date? You asked Alpha why she needs a pra to practice being on a date. Oh, well, um, there's someone I really like, and I really want to go on a date with them, but, but I don't really know how it'll work since I haven't been on a date before. D does that make sense? Oh no, I hope this isn't, like, super weird. Date with who? You asked Alphys who she's planning on asking out- To ask out on a real date. M maybe I shouldn't divulge this information we just met after all. Um, y yeah, forget I ever brought that up. No. Advice? You- you and Alphys request decided to advise her on your dating experience. Just be yourself, treat it like a video game, flirt with them, attempt your date. Flirt with them! You tell Alphys that the best plan of action is to flirt with your date. Huh? Huh? Well, wait, I'm not sure that's such a good idea to do right away. Um, also, I don't think it'd be particularly good at such a thing. Pretend they're not a real person. You tell Alphys to pretend the person she's flirting with isn't real. What? What? That's a horrible idea. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have been so blunt. Are you serious right now? I thought that would help you, it's like anime, you freaking weirdo. Oh my goodness. You hurt my feelings right now. No offense, I watch anime. <laughs> um, let's do this one. You decided to give Alphys the anime DVD as Sunday has asked you to. What? what? Oh my gosh, you're, you're gonna give this to me? I thought that it was just a practice date. Regardless, Alphys decided to watch this later. She got Okay, cool. You tried flirting with Alphys. Huh? huh? What? Wait, um, this is practice date, right? I, I hope you're flirting with It's just an example. Alphys seem um, seems uncomfortable. Oh, great. Let's give her the shirt. You, get, you gave Alphys a new um, Mew Kiss Mew Mew Kissy Cutie t shirt you got earlier. Oh my gosh! A uh, uh, um, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie Kissy Cutie shirt! Where did you find this? I thank you so much. Office of baiting, putting the shirt on right away. Okay, let's. I guess you should wave. I feel it's gonna do something. I wait for Alice to prompt something. Um, oh, is being quiet part of being on a date? Yeah, to listen to someone. You tell Office that it is good to be quiet when you want to listen to what the other person has to say. Uh, oh, that makes sense. Sh should I say something? I wasn't really prepared to. You feel bad for putting her on the spot. You lose three. Um, thing. Search. Isn't this her lab? I'm sure there's nothing to search for to give to her. Just be yourself. You tell Alphys you should constantly be yourself while on a date. Oh, um, y yeah, I can definitely do that, but hypothetically, if I were to struggle with something like this, what should I do? Be sincere and honest. You tell Alphys that she should remain still still remain honest with herself. Oh, that's, um, definitely a great idea. And I hate here. No offense, but what the hell. Ah! Just flirt with her. Though she didn't like that. What the heck am I supposed to do? No offense, but... Ah! Treat it like a video game. Tell if uh, dating is like a video game. Really? Oh, then maybe it won't be so hard, but what, what part should I take into consideration? Give them nice things when you can. Ooh, these are both really good. You tell Alphys that she should keep in mind what their date does and doesn't like. That's a good idea, I'll remember that. 
Thank goodness. Adapt your date. You tell Alphys that if a date isn't going too well, that she should try to adapt to what her date wants. Uh, oh, I guess that makes sense. Wait, wait, what if that doesn't work? Let your date take over. You tell Alphys that she should let her date do what they want to do so they feel more comfortable. Oh, that makes sense. Alphys appreciates advice. Great, so can we can we flirt with her now? Come on, stop it. You're too flattering to me. Don't talk to be better off with someone else. Nevertheless, Alphys is going to be finding herself growing attached. Oh, finally, you can flirt. Okay. Kept flirting with Alphys. <laughs> hey, come on, stop it. You're being too flattering to me. Don't you think you Okay. I think she says the same thing. Again and again. Um, oh my goodness, I love this so much. I don't know how to thank you. This is, this was a lot more successful than I thought it would be. <laughs> it's almost, it's almost, um, anyway, can I see your phone for a second? Hand it over to her. When she returned it, Alphys had her, added her contact information. You can now call her on your cell. It, it's so I can guide you through Hotland to the capital. And, and, um, if you really still want to talk... Oh, oh, whoops, I have to be somewhere. But, okay, see ya. Alphys ran away. <gasps> Metaton! Oh my! Did I interrupt something? Well, I never expected to see Alphys of all people being okay with flirting. That is, with anyone other than Undyne. She wanted a practice date. You explained that Alphys wanted to have a practice date. A practice date? Oh yes, of course. Say now, you're a human, yes? I've got a new show airing tonight, but one of the crew members had to pack to back out last minute. I think you'd be perfect for the role. Sure. Oh, okay. Oh, it doesn't matter what you want to do. I've already decided. Let's see. Ooh, meet me outside, will you? Okay, let's look at everything. Real quick, it's you! Or at least, you're pretty sure it is. But then again, this isn't really your body, is it? Mm, well, no. There's a plethora of papers, papers stacked risingly neatly on the desk. You peer over to read the top what the top page says, but you fully, you can't fully read the writing. It says something about a fairy exper failed experiment, but there's a lot of words are scribbled out in black ink. It's off. It seems there's no desktop tower for this computer, so you wonder if it actually operates at all or if it's just a dusty screen. There's a stack of dirty bowls on the desk. They seem to have braces, um, traces of both noodle broth and noodles. However, it its contents seem to have dried onto the bowl, so it's likely they've sat out for a few days. Oh, cool. You found a trash can. Congratulations. <laughs> Sorry, that's hilarious. You open the refrigerator to see what's inside. It seems a lot of large bottles of soda. Take. You decide to take one of the bottles to add to your items. There's a hole in the wall, um, carelessly taped over without ca caution banners. You debate walking into it. Considering how you can't see the end of the room, the floor, or the ceiling, you decided you'd rather not. Ooh! There she is! Isn't that up, up, up? Isn't that poster of Mew Mew? He looks far happier in this picture than when you last saw him. Then again, there seems to be a logo in the corner of the page. Mew Mew kiss a cutie. Maybe it's not the same Mew Mew you met. Next, she's a giant shelf of different books. They vary in languages. Mm. You grab the book that named Haiku, um, written on the front. It seems to be a graphic novel. Skimming through the pages, find that story is about a middle school boy who reads a haiku poem by a high schooler that won a well-known poetry competition. He became inspired to write because of this, but his writing is very good, and his works are easily considered failures by most. He constantly keeps writing regard regardless of what other people think, though it seems there is one character that bothered him He insulted when he insulted him. And of course, the two end up going to the same school in the same poetry club. But as you read on, you're finding that two, that the two slowly became closer over time and found that their works sounded best when they collaborated. You read. Sometimes it is hard to do something that you want when you are alone. You put the book back on the shelf. 
So I'm going to leave this off here. This video is already really long, so I'll finish reading all this stuff in the next video. But again, thank you all for watching, and I will, of course, see you on the next one. Leave a like, subscribe, and see ya!